Hey, this is Alexander Morenton, owner of My Fit Life and author of Better Living with Whole Foods. It seems that a, a pharmaceutical company, Big Pharma, uh, Novartis, has developed a, a computer chip implant that they could actually implant into a patient's shoulder and um, to, to give reminders as to when to take medication and also also know when you're taking the medication. Okay, so they are, uh, Novartis is the makers of a pharmaceutical drug called Diovan, it's, um, it's a blood pressure medication. And what they did was, um, they, they developed this thing to increase compliance according to the website. And um, it says that lousy compliance is the phenomenon of patients receiving prescriptions but not filling or taking them, thus costing big pharma sales, okay? Which, which you know, they, they don't want to do. Um, so before we go into the implications that this has, let me, let me first explain exactly how this works, okay? So what they do is they implant a computer chip into the patient's shoulder, okay? And then the, in, in each pill, there's another comp little computer chip. So whenever it's time to for you to take your medication, a text message is sent to your cell phone reminding you to, to take your medication. And if you fail to take it, then you'll get repeated text messages, you know, basically until you do take it, um, take, take the medication. And um, so, so that's really creepy to, to, to me, you know, creepy and a little scary. So um, in, in other and. Uh, one other thing is that when that text message is sent, at the same time, a message is also sent to a website so the um, so, so your uh, records can be reviewed by whoever, by the pharmaceutical company, by your doctor, by the insurance company, and all that. So, um, and amazingly, this uh, they, they did a study on 20 people and their compliance rose from 30% to 80% compliance, you know, which, which is huge. So, um, the implications for this, you know, like, like, it, um, it'd be nice to think that they were doing this to, to, for your health or for your own good. But, uh, um, according to what I've read, it's more of a thing for them. they they lose a lot of money. The big pharmaceutical companies lose a lot of money from people not being compliant from them, either not filling their prescriptions or, or not taking the prescriptions after they're filled and not and so they don't refill them and so increasing compliance obviously increases uh, you know the, their bottom line you know dollars in their bank account okay another thing is is that if you don't take it not only do you get these text messages you know sent to your phone which will bug you and be a you know pretty much a pain in the ass but there's also that message that's sent to that website for review and this has a lot of implications uh, you know so so the, the doctor could review that and, and see what you know whether you're doing you know what you're supposed to be doing and uh, so in other words you have high blood pressure you're given this blood pressure medication and for some reason or another you don't take it and you do get a heart attack. Suppose you do get a heart attack. You go to the hospital, you know, you get worked on. There's a possibility that your insurance company could review that, see whether you had been uh, being compliant with taking the medication. And if not, you know, there is that slight possibility that they would re refuse to cover the hospital visits or, or the procedures with the insurance because of you being non-compliant. So there's all kinds of different implications, you know, that, that go on with this thing. And to me, it's just a little scary, really, really creepy. And, um, and it's just really, you know, it's really creepy that they even came up with this thing, but you know, and, and it's something that should, should alarm you. that really alarms me, you know, um, you know, computer chip implant in your shoulder, little computer chips microchips inside each and every pill and it sends a message if you don't get it then you get a text me i mean just all that technology um is really creepy and then the fact that those records are being sent 
uh, to an internet website. All of that stuff is really creepy to me, and I just I just wanted to pass this information along to you because I thought you know you might um, might enjoy it either as entertainment or be alarmed at it like I am. So, anyways, that's it for today. Uh, again, this is Alexander Morenton, owner of My Fit Life. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.